Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside me today. We are here at Jim Sports Center in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, one of my favorite places on the planet. I work here part-time during the summer when I'm outside of school, and I try to shoot here full-time as much as I possibly can. Today we're gonna shoot the bow hunter class. We're gonna shoot indoors here at 20 yards, try to get a Vegas round in, show you some of the ins and outs of scoring, and hopefully you can just kind of kick back and relax and enjoy the shooting with me. All right, let's talk about scoring rings here for a second. If you are unfamiliar with these scoring rings on a 40, this is a 40 centimeter face. The whole sit face is 40 centimeter. Inside you have the X. Now you don't have to touch the X to score an X. All you have to do is touch the line that encircles the X. That is an X. In Lancaster scoring, that is scored as an 11. So it's a bonus point if you score in the Lancaster way. This uh, secondary ring here, all you have to do is touch it. You don't have to be inside. All you have to do is touch it. That's a 10. Now in the Vegas, which is happening this week actually, the Vegas shoot, this 10 uh, line and the X line are both equal to a 10. It's just 10 points. But the X is used in tiebreaker format. In the Lancaster shoot, it's scored as an 11. It's an extra point. It's not a tiebreaker. So a little bit of a difference there. But you have the X, you just have to cut that line, touch that line. 10, you just have to touch that line. This entire exterior part of the yellow, this line right here, if you touch that line or anywhere inside this yellow without touching the 10 line, that is scored as a nine. Same thing's true here with the eight, the seven, and the six. If you miss the six and you hit the gray or you completely miss the target altogether, it is scored as a big fat zero. So make sure you're hitting color when you're shooting at a 40 centimeter face. Now those folks that shoot recurve archery, the same face applies out to the six ring here. It's all the same size, but then it's only a one spot. You'll notice on the other spot there were three targets. Here we only have one and this will score out because it's recurve and you know you have a little bit uh, more variance in the shooting and recurve than you do with a compound setup. They will score out to further distances. So you go six then you have the five, four, three, two, one and then of course if you get off the one you are out into the zero. All right so let's um, come down here to our 20 yard mark. All right, so a quick rundown of indoor shooting. So you're shooting at 20 yards, 18 meters, 20 yards. You're shooting 10 ends, three arrows per end for 30 total arrows for a 300 round. Now, depending on the shoot that you're at, they might just have you shoot 300 uh, total points. They might have you shoot 600, double the amount of arrows, or a 900, three times the amount of arrows. And that'll be broken over multiple days. Um, the highest you can get, depending on whether you're shooting at Lancaster, where you can shoot an 11, so you can shoot a 330, 660, 990. Vegas is 300, uh, 600, and 900. Of course, you can try to shoot 30X, which is you know where you get 60X for 60X custom strings. That would be a Vegas scoring, a 600. So um, my goal for bow hunter is to shoot in the mid to high 290s in the high teens of X count. That's my goal. So if I can shoot 15, 16, 17 X and shooting the 295 to 299 range, I'm about right on par for the course. Now, shooting bow hunter class is different than shooting open. You'll notice I do have a longer stabilizer than what you would usually hunt with in the woods. This is 12 inches, but I don't have a back bar. Uh, I don't have any lens or anything in my scope. My peep is a standard peep. My rest is a drop away rest. In this case, it is a Hamsky Trinity. Now, you can have as many highfalutin things you want on your bow when you shoot bow hunter class, but for me shooting bow hunter class, there are certain rules and regulations. Your front stabilizer can be no longer than 12 inches from the point of contact with the bow. You can use a fixed pin sight or you can use a slider sight, which is what I'm using here, but it cannot have a lens in it. So if you're unfamiliar with open class or unlimited class, you can have a lens in here that literally magnifies, like a scope on a rifle, magnifies the target down range and brings it closer to your eye so you can have a more finite scoring. Also, you can use a much longer stabilizer, 20, 30 inches long. You can use a back bar or a side bar in bow hunter class, and usually there are no restrictions on length. You can add as much weight to the bow as you want, but this 12 inch stabilizer and no magnification are the two biggest factors. You can shoot a prong rest, or you can shoot a blade style rest, or I like to shoot a drop away. In this case, this is a limb driven with the Hamsky Trinity. In terms of arrows, it all depends on the shoot that you go for. There are certain shoots. I have a couple local shoots here in Pennsylvania. You can't shoot anything larger than a 23 diameter shaft. So this is a 2315 Eastern Aluminum. Yes, it's the Camel Hunter. They're significantly cheaper than like the X7s and X23s. 
these and they're still a very 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 good shaft very high tolerances very high quality so i've been shooting these for this year and shot them last year there are certain uh courses and uh certain shoots where you can shoot a 25 or up to the maximum legal diameter which is a 27 i do have those shafts as well but my next couple of shoots here are 23 diameter, diameter maximum and also i have to have a screw in point so these have the regular inserts with a 11 30 second i think it's 125 grains up front everything else is stock these arrows are cut to 31 inches uh, these are three inch boning x veins on a pretty hard right helical and uh, that's not uncommon to have a hard right helical uh, for an indoor setup or left helical so let's just kind of take a few warm-up shots here i'm shooting a uh a hinge style, often referred to as a back tension, although it really isn't a true back tension, it is a hinge, uh, which means it has an open jaw system to it. Uh, it means that it works off of me rotating the release in my hand. You'll hear a click, like that, and then I'll keep rotating, and then it'll fire the arrow downrange. So, I didn't mean to launch that one downrange, though. <laughs> let's take a, uh, our first warm-up shot of the day here, and uh, let's see how close our sight is on. little bit high push that one a little bit left that's right in there little bit low. Some guys like to use binoculars when they're shooting indoors, they can check that, but they're going to end up walking up to the target here. <laughs> so I don't bring binoculars with me, but let's walk up and actually see what we got here. We'll talk about scoring, what that actually looks like. Let's get my, uh, let's get my arrow here. Embarrassing. Yeah. So that actually ended up being real solid. Uh, ended up with a 10 there, like I said, I was a little bit high and I pushed it left. Then we have a, a dead nut X there. And like I said, I dropped that one a little bit lower, but it's still obviously an X right there. So I am pretty happy with that. So take a few more practice ins and then we'll start scoring. Not gonna lie, it blows my mind when People say they don't shoot year round. Um, your local range is gonna offer indoor shoots, whether it's a league shoot that goes on for a couple of months, they might have some uh, competition money shoots, you know, that are a weekend or something like that, you know, like a Friday night, Saturday kind of thing. Um, kind of blows my mind that people don't shoot indoors. This is just a great way to practice um, and really build repetitive form. I mean, you're shooting 30, 60, 90 euros over the span of a weekend. It really helps and really benefits you in the long run. That one a little bit on the right side, but it might be okay. And that was definitely high. Past years, I've been a six o'clock habitual, six o'clock low misser, and so I've really been focused on that the past year, past off season, and uh, now I'm hitting high. <laughs> Let's go down and take another look. Yeah, so um, target shooting in and of itself is an interesting. Oh, I think I caught that 10. Target shooting in and of itself is a uh, interesting endeavor because you're just trying to punch holes in paper from 20 yards away. Not too bad. They didn't end up catching that 10 up top there. That's an X again. And that's another 10. We missed that 
interior X line here, as you can see. So this would have scored an X in Vegas. This is still a 10. This whole thing inside here is a 10. And in that Vegas, that would have been a tie-breaking X. At Lancaster, that would have scored as a bonus 11. So didn't get it, but that's all right. We'll shoot one more practice in, and then we'll start scoring. If I can I feel, I'm feeling OK today. I'm feeling a little sore. I'm shooting a lot recently. Get on there. Been uh, shooting a lot recently. Really trying to gear up. There's a big, big shoot that I, um, I won last year by sheer grace of God. <laughs> um, and uh, that's coming up here at the beginning of March. So I got about a month uh, left for practicing for that. So I try to come down here to gyms a couple days a week. I can shoot in my basement, but this bow is so long. This is an elite victory. Uh, 39 inches axle to axle. I shoot it at 60 pounds. Uh, and a 30 and a quarter, almost 30 and 3 eighths inch draw. And um, it's a great shooting bow. I absolutely love this bow. I just picked it up this past fall to specifically target shoot with, but I'm really liking it. Um, I might even take it out hunting uh, this upcoming fall. But the problem is in my basement, I'm 6'4", I'm too tall, and I can't stick this up and get into the, uh, get into the ceiling. Um, I hit my uh, cam off of a uh, floor joist. So I have to come here to gyms to shoot, so. I can, do, I can fit with my other bows because they're a little bit shorter, but not this one. That one felt really good. A little punky, but I think we're okay. And it's important to know, like that's why I like shooting in the off season and indoor because you're shooting so many arrows. Like you get so used to what is a good shot and what is a bad shot. You get really get to control your pin float. That's one thing a lot of people don't understand that even the, the high end guys, they don't hold it perfectly still. It sits there and it moves and it goes about. But obviously the more and more you shoot, the smaller that's gonna be. You know, when you first start out, you might be going blue to blue here on a, on a 40 centimeter phase. For me, I often go nine to nine, so yellow to yellow. Um, I don't shoot very many eights. Actually, last weekend I shot a local shoot and I shot my first eight that I probably shot in a year. I just, I was a nervous wreck. Um, but most of the time I float that nine to nine. So I know that at worst, if I'm executing my shot correctly on my end, I'm hitting that nine. Um, if you're shooting shots, you know, you're, you're on the X, you're on the nine, you're on the eight, and they're not going there, you gotta focus on your form a little more. You might be tweaking it, uh, torquing the bow, so on and so forth. But if you're holding and you're just concentrating on getting your float, it can go this way, up and down, you can make figure eights, you can do whatever you want. Um, I find I kind of do an up and down motion, maybe a little bit off in a V. Um, that's kind of my typical float pattern. I try not to go in a circle, because when you go in a circle, you'll end up pulling out to one side or the other. I like going up and down because you don't really like to yank up and down with the bow. You like to move left to right. So that's just my personal thing. That one's really good too. We might have triple X down there. I don't know. When I, uh, when I was a kid, I shot amateur uh, for a while. Uh, yeah, baby. I shot amateur for the longest time and I was awful. <laughs> I didn't actually win my first tournament, like take number one with a bow until literally just the past two years I started winning local stuff. Um, as a kid, I got my butt kicked. I made the podium once, um, but as, a, as an adult here, shooting bow hunter class, we do a little bit better. This end, bueno. Take that all day, every day. That is a triple X end. So I say, we're ready to score. Gosh, this lighting is awful. Wow, it's just so bad. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, first scoring in. Here we go. I might have just shot my first nine in the first end. Told you I float nine to nine. As it turns out, it's a nine ten liner. I want to show you this for scoring purposes. And this is the benefit of shooting fatter diameter arrows, and particularly in, in bow hunter class when you can shoot, you know, aluminums. Um, and actually, you can shoot aluminums for hunting, so you don't have to specifically to shoot these for indoor. But so I'm looking at. So here, as you can see it is touching the X line. So that is an X. 
right? And usually you can tell also with the 23 diameter arrow, if it's touching the 10 line from the inside, it's probably not touching the X line. In this case, it is not, so that is going to be an X. This one is a flat out 10. As you can see, we have space there between the arrow and the, uh, the X line there. And then here, this is a 10X liner. But do you see how there's no color? You can't see any color in between the arrow, no yellow between the arrow and the 10. That's going to get called a 10 right there because it is touching that line. Barely, but it's on there. So, uh, yeah, we got lucky there. All right, in number two, let's not screw this one up. <laughs> Truth be told, I've never shot a 300. Never once shot a 300. Um, shot a bunch of 298s and a bunch of 299s, but I've never shot a 300. So if we do this on camera today, I will pee myself. Well, let's just go straight, but I think we're okay. Ultimately, a lot of the shoes that are local to me score like Lancaster. They shoot that X's and 11 and that's a lot of points you can drop. And so for me, if I could shoot an average, an end average of 31 points, so maximum point total per end is 33. If I can shoot an average of 31, that's gonna put you in really good shape um, for pretty much any major tournament, and local tournament for sure. That was really good too. All right, so we're still shooting clean after two ends. Uh, the first shot was low. Uh, not a huge liner, but it was, it was close, it was a 10 and then two X's, so I'm shooting right now 31 and 32. Uh, so after two ends, I'm shooting clean with three X's. Both those shots were on the left. They, they're both in, but I'm starting to drift here. And that's, again, this is one of those things where like you know when you're executing a good shot and executing a bad shot, the first shot was not a good shot, not a good shot execution on my part. Um, and it's just trying to get, you know, you're trying to feel your stands out, you're trying to feel your shoulders out, your hip rotation, a whole bunch of different things. That was a good shot. I think that last one was a dead center X. That first arrow ended up being an X10 liner. I thought it was more like a 910 liner, but it ended up being okay. And, you know, Everybody talk, you know, a lot of people like to say, you know, forgiving bow, forgiving setup and that sort of thing. I don't want to be forgiven by my bow. I like making shots that I think are terrible and they end up going really well. Um, but I'd rather shoot a bow that is honest with me. Not radical. Um, you know, this isn't a radical bow at all. You know, uh, seven inch brace height, six inch change, six and three quarter, maybe inch brace height, 39 inches axle, axle. Um, but pretty good speeds, you know, in the 330s IBO. Uh, and at my long draw length and the super heavy arrows, uh, you know, I'm trying to shoot a, 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 not a big fat five inch feather fletching. And, you know, I want to miss, you know, if, if I'm gonna make bad shots, I don't want my bow and arrow set to reward me for making a bad shot. Um, I'd rather much be honest and, and keep me in I know that sounds kind of stupid because, you know, gaining points is the idea <laughs> of archery, but at the same time, I like to be able to practice and know that I'm not forming bad habits because the bow and arrow combination is going to make me miss and make me learn from my mistakes. So I still, I mean, that's, I mean, that's good. Like I thought I was holding, like I said, in that 910 liner and I ended up being a 10X liner. So I'll take that. I still would have shot a 10, um, but you know, gain an extra point. Yeah, it's never a bad thing, but I'd rather be people and bows be honest with me than lie behind my back or on the target face. That first target and I are just not getting along. And you'll find that happens too. Like you're starting to shoot now. It looks good. I think it's an X. But the, you'll find yourself, you'll find that you'll, you'll punch a couple holes in the same edge spot and you'll just pound the living daylights out of one target, out of the three faces. And then there's another one or two that just doesn't cooperate with you. And that, that's the first one for me. It's just not cooperate with me right now. That was good. That was a little bit right, but I think we're still in there. I think actually I felt good like we were on the right side of the X. Let's go down there and take a look together. It's a funny thing in door archery. Just, you just gotta keep, keep on pounding, take your time, relax, enjoy it. I pinwheeled that first one. <laughs> so 
that is known as an inside out X, which means that no a part of your arrow shaft is touching the X line from the inside out. So that's an inside out X when I first started. So that feels good. Here we have an X up here, touching that line there. And then we have another X in pretty much the exact same spot as target number two. So, and here's how I keep track of score. Um, Cause I often do miss points. So I like to actually keep track of score, but we're in the fourth end now. So that'll go XXX. And as you can see, we had XXX in the last round or last end, excuse me, uh, 10 XX and then 10, 10 X was our first. So we'll get these arrows pulled here and keep on shooting. It's so hard not to panic when you're shooting well, at least for me it is. Uh, just try not to crack your pants and try not to blow it. <laughs> Execute good shots and that's just all part of learning to shoot a bow and uh, just learning to get better at archery. And I just, I just love shooting indoors so much. Um, probably because I'm, I'm rubbish at judging 3D distances. <laughs> um, but also just because I just need an excuse to get out and <clears throat> shoot, shoot with other people and just enjoy the sport of archery. And indoor is just a way for me to do it. That was not a good shot. I softened up on that shot. That was, that's in there, it looks like it's an X, but that was a bad shot. I punched that, I pulled through that, pin got on center, I was getting tired and early in the fifth end. This is usually when like, I start to fall apart on the seventh, eighth end, like that's when like I start to get tired. And I shoot a lot, but I mean, it's hard. You know, you're holding a big bow, you're shooting, you know, you're shooting any reasonable poundage. You know, you're trying to hit something the size of an American penny at 20 yards, 30 times in a row, that's tough. All right, so unless I have a nine liner, I'm just gonna keep shooting here. Leave the camera where it's at. Me and a triple X there, pretty solid. Long hole. Long hole. Good. I'm just absolutely pounding the upper part of the X10 on that second target, which is good. I think we're still clean. That first shot was a pretty easy 10 uh, in terms of scoring. It wasn't a, it wasn't a liner, which is good. You know, I'm still holding the next two X's, so 10 XX, so still shooting clean. Want to keep that up here, stay focused. It's so boring. Like, if you really think about it, I mean, imagine doing this for like 60 euros, uh, you know, in an afternoon. I mean, it just gets boring after a while, and, and getting things that are boring or at least monotonous, you know, eventually you'll just have a mental lapse, and that's when you start blowing, blowing points. And then once you mentally lapse, it's really hard to get back in. So, you gotta try to stay focused, keep your breathing consistent. Just, you gotta try to be much of a robot as possible when you shoot indoors. It's, it's terrible to think of it that way. It seems like you're sucking all the fun out of it, but I've never seen a person not have fun shooting X's and 10's, so. <laughs> that was a great, great shot. That was a really good shot. It was one of the better shots I've had all day. In terms of execution, came up, bow was level, followed my bubble, came in, set in, and just did my breathing routine that I usually do, which is full hail while I'm while I'm drawing, exhale, half out, hold, pull, pull. And that just, that was an excellent execute shot. My right eye was starting to go fuzzy, but I think it's a good shot. <laughs> Let's see what we got. That second shot was fantastic. Inside out X, shot two inside out X's that end. Really good, really, really good. You gotta stay focused. And, uh, Really excited about that, it was good. Ooh, I dipped low on that one. That might be a 9-10 liner. Find out when we get up there. I think it's still 10, but. Oh, bugger. That one might be a nine. That was not a well executed shot. Way too fast, way too fast. That was a good executed shot. I'm a little left, but it was a good execution. 
Let's go down and look together. I'm afraid I just blew a 300 there. It's usually around this eighth end that I blow it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> so, here was that first shot. I was a little bit low. I knew it was low. That's a 10. No doubt about that one. That's a 10. Clean 10. Well, not clean, but it's a 10. And then actually, I think this one, that center shot out pretty hard. But this again goes back to earlier. See how it's clearly touching this 10 line with a size 23 arrow? It usually just means a 10. So, 10, 10, 10. So, not my best in there, but usually it's in that eighth end that I kind of fall apart. So, I'll take it. It just like blows my mind. All the guys like. Mikey Schlosser and Levi Morgan, Danny McCarthy, Chris B. Uh, you know, all these high level dudes. Rio Wild and Logan Wild and the Marlowe brothers and everybody. And they just they just step up and just 12 ring it, 10 ring it, shoot 30x's, 60x. I just poof. <laughs> and someone who's never shot a 300 before, I don't know how I could shoot a, a 600. But um, yeah, very impressive. But stay focused here on the ninth end. Execute the way we're supposed to. For some reason that went high. It's in there, but it went high. And that's at almost that same spot on that second target, that left 10. That was good. It was a little shaky, but Starting to get tired. Let's see what we got. Well, so it was a 10 on the first target, solid 10. Uh, and then, or no, it was a 10X um, liner. Again, shooting these 23 diameter arrows, you can fit it perfectly between the 10 and the X line. <clears throat> so that's what I did there in the first target. Second, uh, second one was a tall 10. Um, clearly a 10, uh, you know, had cut, it cut the whole line and then some, um, and then the last one was again, another 10X liner. So we're in the 10th end and um, I don't want to jinx it, but we're shooting clean. And I've never shot a 300 before. So we're just going to keep executing our shots and make it happen. It's on the left side. I was drifting left, but it's in there. Actually, I think it's an X. Might be a, an X liner, but. That was perfect. You could not have mapped that shot out perfectly, more perfectly. Just. Excellent execution. Came down, came down on it. Worked through the shot. High pressure shot in, into the end. <laughs> Boys and girls, I think I just shot my first 300 ever. I did it on camera. Go down and take a look. I am shaking. Look at this. This is my bow hand. Look at that. Oh, this is so exciting. That actually just worked. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? That's awesome. And not only that, ended it on a triple X. Thought that one was a little bit taller. Didn't end up being as tall as I thought it was. That was awesome. That was the last shot there. That is my very first 300 ever. I was shaking so bad, you have no idea. That is, wow.
So here's, and I'll show you this because I, I know I didn't show that in there. So here's that, right here's the, uh, that shot with that tall 10. But you can see here, I'll pull this arrow out here. You can see how it scored. That's where it was at. That's where that shot was. And like I said, it was a 10 liner, but clearly a 10. You can see I peltered. Like I said, target number one and I did not get along. This shot was already here. But I shot all around it there, but all 10s. So I missed the most amount of X's on target one. Target three was just superb. That was mostly X's. I stuck a couple X10 liners up here at the top. This was already here. Wow. I have no idea what to say. I am flabbergasted. So let's add up the points here. I shot 320x. That is my first ever 300. Wow. Wow. Right, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 20, yeah. So I would have dropped, I would have shot a 320 in Lancaster scoring. Get a picture of that. Wow. Wow. I just, I just don't even know. <laughs> wow. I'm just at a loss. Never shot a 300 before and just did it 20x on camera. I guess the next step is shooting 30x. Holy smokes. Well, so I guess uh, the only thing I can do now is say thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming along and, and enjoying the 300 with me. <laughs> I feel like I literally just feel like I just shot a deer in a tree stand and I watched it fall down in sight. Like that's the level of excitement. I just feel like there's just been such a weight lifted off of my shoulders and I get to share it with you live ish thing on camera. Wow. So anyhow, get outside or get indoors. I don't care. Enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting. If you so choose, definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation and we will get to see you next time. And hopefully we'll shoot another 300. I, I don't know. I got to call my wife. I got to, I got to tell the guys upstairs. I just shot 300. Holy smokes.